Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy, and the well, the Louisiana. <laughs> and today I am in the laser lab, and we are talking about um, cutting text out of a file. So I gotta get my brain together. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I've been like this all day, but we're going to be cutting some text from a graphic. And I had a patron that asked me. Hey, I've got this file. Can you help me fix it? And I said, okay, I'll take a look at it. And I took a look at it and it was, he was doing very complex things, trying to um, offset shapes and so on. And it just was too hard to fix. So I took a minute and I made a quick private video for him uh, that I've already posted and sent out. But I thought to myself, you know how many people have asked me about this particular problem that they're having and it's such a simple resolve why not just do it so tonight we are going to oh, I should say today we're going to do a quick video today I promise this is going to be very quick and uh, unless you want to stay afterwards for a little chat but we're going to uh, come over here into Lightburn and I'm going to show you how I get this done so this is the easiest way that you can actually Put, oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Select this. The easiest way that you can cut this out of this shape right here is it's very, very simple. So I'll select both of these and I'm just going to go ahead and bullseye them like that. This way we've got one shape and maybe I should take this off the grid so it's easier to see. So let me take this off the workspace and then we'll zoom in on it here and you'll be able to see what's going on. Now, when you have something like this, the chances are you're going to have your window up here set to wireframe like that. And that just looks like a mess, doesn't it? <laughs> so how do we cut this shape out of this crab right over here? And that's very, very simple. I'm going to select the text over here. I'm going to come over to the offset on the left side. I'm going to click on that. And we're going to offset this. And we're going to make sure that we don't have bevel, we don't have corner, unless you uh, like the bevel. I mean, that could look good. But I'm going to go round because the letters are, eh, a lot of it is round. So I'm just going to go round outward, outer shapes only over here. And we can do select resulting objects and even optimize and simplify the results. And I'm going to say OK to that. So now you see we have got just an offset going all the way around the text. What we're going to do is use that offset to cut that crab so that the text becomes visible. So if we were to look at it right now and look at it in like a preview mode, you'd see that looks really ridiculous. But let's go ahead and do this and let me show you the results. So now I've got just that offset selected, not the text, just the offset. I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and I'm going to drag over the crab just like that. So now I've got the offset and the crab selected. And then if I come over to the left side and click on the weld icon, you'll see all of a sudden we've got a nice sign. We've just welded the outer shape to the crab. And if you wanted to, you could clean up some of these little anomalies. Uh, I think I would probably leave these just the way they are. And the idea here is that he wanted to make a sign. So let's go ahead and draw that out real quick. He wanted to make a sign. And we'll put that on the red layer because that's a cut for the wood. We'll select it and size it. And now all we have to do is set our speed and set our power and we can run this job and it will be a nice a nice sign so here's the thing the idea of this was to paint this piece of wood so we're saying that that this is the piece of wood to paint this a different color and then engrave away everything else so now we're going to engrave away all of this black that's in here and all of the white is going to stay and it's going to remain the color that it was painted. And this will be a really nice, nice sign. So there you go. Uh, quick and easy. <laughs> and it, it just 
doesn't get any easier than that. And I've covered this before in a couple videos about offsetting and welding. Um, designing graphics like a pro is one of them. Several videos I've covered this before as long back as about two years ago. But uh, I still get people all the time that are asking me, well, you know, how, how can I do this? I can't figure out how to do this. And that's it. That's the fast, easy way to get it done. But wait, <laughs> hang on one second. Don't go anywhere because there are a couple of uh, videos that I get a lot of requests for. And one of them is how to uh, cut a shape out of uh, a photograph. And so I'm going to show you two quick tips before I go. And I think you'll enjoy these. This is like a bonus for those people that are still here. So let's go back over to uh, Lightburn real quick. And let's take a look at what we've got here. So I've got this photograph and I don't like the square edges. I'd rather do uh, an oval cutout of this. Well, it's very easy. I've gotten the tool path here and you can see it right there in the middle. And all I have to do is create this tool path, put it on top of the picture the way that I want it. Grab both of these, right click on it. And then in here, apply mask to image. So once we do this, we've got our oval shape. But if the picture may not be in the right spot, so you can see that it's still the same size as the picture. So let's grab the picture and we can move this picture wherever it is that we want. Let's say we wanted these three peaks. And now if we drag over both, we can right click again and we can come over here to flatten the image mask, which actually destroys the photograph and only leaves behind the cutout that we just did. See how that boundary box came right up to the edges right there? So there is one other trick that I would like to show you while we're in here, and that is getting some text that has uh, a nice grayscale background to it where it's distinct. It's not like any other text that you've ever seen from a laser engraver. So let me show you how that's done can take this and pull it up in here. And what we're going to do is multi-shade this text. So now if, if, well, <laughs> if we grab both of these and bullseye it like that, now we've got everything on there. And all we have to do now is right click, same process. And uh, we want to apply the mask to the image yet again. Now we've got an image or actually grayscale that you're not going to be able to get any other way uh, in in Lightburn or really in lots of programs so now we can just take and move the image around to approximately where we want it to be and that looks pretty cool right there and then of course drag over them right click and flatten that image mask once again and now we have permanent text text excuse me that is resizable to any size and it does not distort so that will give a really cool background to your text something that i don't think uh, i've never seen anyone else do before uh, it's something that i ran across by mistake about a year and a half or two years ago and it's like one of the greatest uh, tools that you can use to get shading in your text that nobody else has. So um, that's it for this video. You can, you know, hit the back button, hit the stop button, do whatever you want to do. Or if you want to visit for another minute, I wanted to talk really quickly about the two flag videos that I did. And when you do these kind of videos, when I get an idea, I usually just go ahead and do it and I make a video and it's not always perfect, you know, not always perfect. So in the flag video, I did the first one and then I wound up doing a second one after that. And then in my head, after I posted the second one, I said, hmm, there's an easier way to do it. And when you when you do this kind of stuff, every time you make something, you make it better. So uh, if you watch those two flag videos, and I'm sure it's only my hardcore subscribers that are still here with me uh, right now but if you watch those two flag videos 
after I finished those, I came up with an even better idea for the wavy flag. And that was to, uh, the way the flag was set up next to the stars, uh, draw a line and then distort that line into the wave. Then duplicate that and as many times as you need for the lines up in the top right and one extra to put down below it. And then take your text and uh, put your text on that path. Put it into a path and then align your text and do a text on path and you'll get a perfect wave out of it. All, all the four lines would be perfect. Then the line down below for the longer lines, click on it, duplicate it, move it off to the left, so size them so that they're on top of each other, weld them together, uh, offset them, weld them together, whatever you want to do, and then put the text along that path for the rest of the lines. And then it's so much easier to just go ahead and um, make everything perfect where you get the perfect wave. So every time I, every time I do a video, uh, I, it seems that within a day or two, sometimes within, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a couple minutes, if you're wondering why my, my water is yellow, um, I'm on a diet, so I've lost 22 pounds already. And I'm using this, this Mio stuff right here, this flavoring. And it is absolutely fantastic. Zero calories. I can drink my water and it tastes better than most lemonades, I got to tell you. But uh, anyway, sometimes I get those ideas like right away. Right after I posted the video. So, oh, I could have done this this way it would have been much easier i could have done that that way it would have been much easier i'm sure there are other makers out there that are going to say and say here's a better way to make a wavy flag <laughs> well you know what folks there are a dozen ways to make the wavy flag and every time i think about it i come up i just came up with another idea for it so which i'm not going to bore you with but anyway i hope you enjoyed this quick uh video today on welding your or, or actually offsetting your text so that you can cut out a graphic and uh, use it to make signs. Hope you enjoyed the video today as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. Coming to you today in 4K, although I know most of you aren't watching in 4K, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love on a fire